huge debuts at All Out. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is just Pro Wrestling News for Monday, September 6th, 2021. This update is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. AEW. AEW closed its All Out pay-per-view last night with double debuts. After Kenny Omega beat Christian Cage to retain the AEW championship in the main event, Adam Cole made his surprise debut, and he quickly aligned himself with the Elite. That was followed by the AEW debut of Brian Danielson, and he helped Christian and Jurassic Express run off Omega, Cole, and the rest of the Elite. Backstage after the show, Cole talked about his decision to jump to AEW. I, I wanted to come back and work with a crew who I love being around 24-7, uh, a crew that is just as passionate about pro wrestling as I am, and fans that feel the exact same way that we do. So um, making the decision was a fairly easy one. That clip from the media scrum after All Out. Those were not the only surprises on the show. Ruby Soho, the former Ruby Riot, made her AEW debut and won the Women's Casino Battle Royale to earn a shot at the AEW Women's Championship. That title is still held by Dr. Britt Baker after she beat Chris Statlander last night. New Japan's Minoru Suzuki made a surprise appearance to confront and lay out John Moxley after Mox had beaten Satoshi Kojima. Moxley and Suzuki are now set for a match on Wednesday's Dynamite from Cincinnati. The lone title change last night, the Lucha Brothers beat the Young Bucks inside a steel cage to take away the AEW Tag Team titles. Miro beat Eddie Kingston last night to retain the TNT Championship. CM Punk's first pro wrestling match in over seven years was a win over Darby Allin. He pinned him with the GTS and the two shook hands after the match. For a few moments, it appeared MJF had pinned Chris Jericho to end his in-ring career in AEW. It took a second referee to point out that Jericho's foot was on the bottom rope. The match was restarted and Jericho later forced MJF to tap out to the walls of Jericho. Paul White pinned QT Marshall with a choke slam, and on the buy-in pre-show, Jurassic Express and the best friends beat the Hardy family office. After the match, The Butcher returned to AEW TV after a long layoff, and he beat up on Orange Cassidy until the good guys ran him off. AEW announced a new date for the Full Gear pay-per-view, it's now set for Saturday, November 13th. And AEW wasn't the only company in the Chicagoland area this past weekend. GCW ran a bunch of shows, and late Saturday night, John Moxley showed up and pinned Matt Cardona to win the GCW championship. Mox will defend the title against Nick Gage on October 9th. WWE. We have five matches announced for tonight's Raw. Charlotte Flair is set to defend the Raw Women's Championship against Nia Jax. Also tonight, Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. The winner gets a U.S. title shot against Damian Priest at Extreme Rules. There will be a tag team turmoil match to decide the next challengers for the Raw tag titles with AJ Styles and Amos, the Viking Raiders, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, Mustafa Ali and Mansoor, Jinder Mahal and Veer, the Lucha House Party, and Mace and T-Bar. The WWE Women's Tag Champs Natalya and Tamina are in a non-title match against Rhea Ripley and Nikki A.S.H. and 24-7 Champ Reggie versus Akira Tazawa in another non-title match. WWE is dissolving its subsidiary in the United Kingdom, but NXT UK's Jim Smallman assured fans on Instagram that the brand will not be affected by the move. New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan held its second Wrestle Grand Slam show of the weekend on Sunday. Shingo Takagi pinned Evil with Last of the Dragon in the main event to retain the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. We have new IWGP Junior Tag Team Champions, Yoshinobu Kanemaru and El Desperado, dethroned Taiji Ishimori and El Phantasmo. Despi got a hold of ELP's allegedly loaded boot, punched him in the face with it, hit Pinche Loco, and pinned ELP to get the win. Robbie Eagles is still the IWGP Junior Champion. He submitted Hiromu Takahashi. El Desperado was out after that match to challenge Eagles to a future title match. 
Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. are still the IWGP Tag Team Champions. They won a three-way over Tetsuya Naito and Sonata and Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi. Tai Chi pinned Yoshihashi with Black Mephisto. Jeff Cobb and Great Khan beat Kazuchika Okada and Tomohiro Ishii. Great Khan pinned Ishii with the Eliminator. And in another special stardom tag match, Siuri and Julia beat Saya Kamatani and Momo Watanabe. Siuri submitted Kamatani. The lineup for G1 Climax 31 was announced during Sunday's show. Tama Tonga is back in the tournament. Also, Tonga Loa, Great Khan, and Chase Owens are in the tournament for the first time. So here are the block lineups. Block A has Shingo Takagi, Kota Ibushi, Tatsuya Naito, Zack Sabre Jr., Tori Yano, Tomohiro Ishii, Yujiro Takahashi, Kenta, Great Khan, and Tonga Loa. Block B has Kazuchika Okada, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Sanada, Taichi, Yoshihashi, Hiroki Goto, Jeff Cobb, Evil, Tamatanga, and Chase Owens. The tournament begins on September 18th. That's just Pro Wrestling News for Monday, September 6th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning, so please rate, review, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.